ሰላም ሰላም ውድ የቻናል ኤቤት ሰቦች ሰላማችሁ ይብዛ ይያልኩኝ ወደ ዛሬው ትምርት ተገባለሁ በዛሬው ትምርት ይየላችሁ ይቀርብኩት ሐምሌ 2015 ዓመተ ምህረት የኢትዮጵያ ሀገር አቀፍ ፈተናዎች ኤጀንሲ ለዩኒቨርሲቲ መግቢያ ብሎ ያዘጋጀውን የጂኦግራፊ ትምህርት ፈተና ይሆናል በዛሬው ትምህርት ክፍል 1 ይየላችሁ ይቀርባለሁ ክፍል 1 በውስጡ 20 ጥያቄዎች ከጥሩ ማብራሪያ ጋር ይዟል እስከ መጨረሻው ከኔ ጋር ቆዩ ብሪጅ ኤጁኬሽናል ቲዩብ አንደኛው ጥያቄ what is the many implication of the large size of young population of ethiopia a it has a low potential to increase the momentum of population growth b there is a rapid socio economic and technological development of the country c the country has the smallest proportion of non productive population d the country needs a high expenditure for the provision of basic social services mersochachu iyeserachu what is the main implication of the large size of young population of ethiopia a it has a low potential to increase the momentum of population growth b there is a rapid socio economic and technological development of the country c the country has the smallest proportion of non productive population d the country needs a high expenditure for the provision of basic social services መልሶቻችሁ እየሰራችሁ ወደ መልስ እንገባ the population structure of ethiopia እንግዲህ ኢትዮጵያ የህዝብ ቁጥር ስብጥር የተገነባው ከ3 population groupዎች ነው የመጀመሪያው young ነው ሁለተኛው elder ወይንም old ነው ሶስተኛው adult ነው 45% የሚሆነው የኢትዮጵያ ህዝብ young ወይንም economically dependent የሆነ ነው 3%ቱ elder population ወይንም old age ነው 52% the population of the population is economically active and support both itself and the rest of the population እንግዲህ 52%ቱ ቋሚ ስራ ይዞ መስራት የሚችል ወይንም ሌሎችን መደቆም የሚችል ነው ማለት ነው ስለዚህ 45%ቱ ያንግ ነው ያማን ያንግ ማለት እድሜያቸው ከ0 እስከ 14 አመት ነው elders ንል እድሜያቸው ከ65 በላይ ነው እንዲሁም adults ንል እድሜያቸው ከ15 እስከ 64 ያለ ነው ማለት ነው Ethiopia has the highest non productive population in the world it is the direct result of high fertility rate እንግዲህ ኢትዮጵያ ከአለም ከፍተኛ የሆነ non productive የሆነ ወይንም ስራ ላይ አልተሰማራ የሰው ኃይል ያላት ሀገር ነች ይሄ ደግሞ የሚያሳየው በሀገሪቱ ውስጥ ያለ ከፍተኛ የሆሊድ መጣኔ በመኖሩ ነው ማለት ነው ስለዚህ large dependent young population leads to high government expenditure in education health food and other social services እንግዲህ እነዚህ basic service የሚባሉትን ለማሟላት መንግስት ከፍተኛ ሆኖ ወጭ ወይንም expenditure expense ያካሄዳል ማለት ነው ምክንያቱም population ምን በመሆኑ young ወይንም ደግሞ ከ0 እስከ 14 አመት በመሆኑ ማለት ነው ስለዚህ መልሳችን የሚሆነው the country needs a high expenditure for the provision of basic social services እንግዲህ እነዚህ basic social services ያልናቸው ነገሮች education health food and other social services ይሆናሉ ማለት ነው ወደ ሁለተኛው ጥያቄ سنሄድ what motivated the government of ethiopia to develop anti natalist population policy the, the need to a balance the number of male and female population b raise economic and social status of women c reduce the rate of urban rural migration d encourage population growth መልሶቻችሁ እየሰራችሁ what motivated the government of ethiopia to develop anti natalist population policy the need to a balance the number of male and female population b raise the economic and social status of women c reduce the rate of urban rural migration d encourage population growth መልሶቻችሁ እየሰራችሁ
ወደ መርስ ስንሄድ እንግዲህ በዋናነት እነዚህ ፖፑሌሽን ፖሊሲ የራስ የሆነ ኦብጀክቲቮች አሉት። እንዳጠቃላይ አንቲናታሊስ ፖፑሌሽን ፖሊሲ የራስ የሆኑ ኦብጀክቲቭ ወይም ግቦች አሉት። የመጀመሪያው closing high population growth rate and low economic productivity እንግዲህ ከፍተኛ የሆነ ህዝብ መጣን ወይ ምድገትና ኢኮኖሚው ድቅተኛ የሆነ ኢኮኖሚው እድገት ማጠጋጋት ነው ወይም close ማቀራረብ ነው ማለት ነው። ሁለተኛ speed up economic speed up economic and social development process እንግዲህ ኢኮኖሚያዊና ማህበራዊ ድገትን ማፋጠን ነው ሶስተኛው reduce rural to urban migration ከገጠር ወደ ከተማ የሚደረገውን ፍልሰት መቀነስ ነው አራተኛ maintain and improve the caring capacity of the environment እንግዲህ አካባቢያችን መሸከም የሚችልውን የሰው ኃይል ማመጣጥን ወይንም ማሳደግ ይሆናል ማለት ነው አምስት raise economic and social status of many cities economically and maharawi hunetan masaddeg yihona sidist facilitating research program to reproductive health yesnet walu tena betemelekete etelayyu tnatochin makahed nu sabat developing population programs ngidi yehizb quter edgetin wem programochin lemastakakal sibal mengis etelay programoch develop yaragal malet nu ስምንት diversifying method of contraceptives እንግዲህ ይሄ የስነት ዋልዶ ወይንም ይሄ የውሊድ መከራካዮችን በከፍተኛ ሁኔታ diversify ማድረግ ይሆናል ማለት ነው በተለይም ይሄ contraceptive method ብለን እንጠራቸው እነዚህ ሉፕ ይመሳሰሉ ወይንም ፒልስ ይመሳሰሉት ማለት ነው እንዳጠቃላይ እነዚህ በኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ ያሉ ወይም የኢትዮጵያ መንግስት አፕላይ የሚያረጋቸው የአንቲ natalis population objectives nacho malatu selezi mersachin imihono raise the economic and social status of women imilo yihonal malatu no ngidi yenyo raise the economic and social status of women imilo andu objective yihonal malatu selezi anti natalis population policy wannenya kenezi amarachos wannenya asfelegebet mekinyat yesetoch ekonomiyawi na mahabarawi hunetan masaddego yimelewot lay yatakora no malatu no so senyo tiyake How does the International Monetary Fund IMF contribute to the economic development of nations? A by stabilizing exchange rates, B by encouraging state ownership of enterprises, C by promoting countries to set tariffs and quotas, D by supporting green campaign. How does the International Monetary Fund IMF contribute to the economic development of a nation መልሶቻችሁ እየሰራችሁ ወደ መርስ ንሄድ መልሳችን የሚሆነው a stabilizing exchange rate የሚለው ይሆናል ማለት ነው በአንድ ሀገር ውስጥ ያለ የኤክስቼንጅ ሬት ወይም ይሄ ውጭ ካረንሲዎች ምን ዛሬን ስታቢላይዝ ማድረግ ነው ማለት ነው አንዱ የIMF ዋን አላማ ማለት ነው ወደ አራተኛው ጥያቄ ስንሄድ as a citizen of Ethiopia what is your view about the advantage your country gained as a result of globalization a it helps to exercise the western cultures b it encourages a high consumption of domestic products c it marks the domination of imported products d it increases the flow of remittances as a citizen of ethiopia what is your view about the advantage your country gained as a result of globalization mersochachu iyesarachu wedemersin head advantage of globalization እንግዲህ ዓለም አቀፋዊነት ወይም ይሄ globalization ወይም የዓለማችን እርስ በርስ መተሳሰር በተለይም በቴክኖሎጂካል አትሪቢዩቶች ማለት ነው ስለዚህ አድቫንቴጅ ወይንም ዋና ጥቅሙ ምንድነው አንደኛው create new opportunity and benefits 
አዳዲስ የሆኑ ድሎችና ጥቅሞችን ለሀገራት ያመጣል ሁለት ሩልስ ኤንድ ፕሪንሲፕልስ ባይ ዊች ግሎባላይዜሽን ኢዝ ጎቨርነድ እንግዲህ ግሎባላይዜሽን በራሱ ጎቨርን ያደርጋል ዓለምን ሶስት ኢንክሪዝ ኦፍ ሬሜታንስ ፍሎስ እንግዲህ በአንድ ሀገር ውስጥ ወደ አንድ ሀገር ውስጥ የሚገባው የውጭ ሀገር ገንዘብ ይጨምራል አራት ኢንክሪዝ ፕሮዳክቲቪቲ ምርታማነት ያሳድጋል አምስት አክሰስ ቱ ሮ ማቴሪያልስ ጥሬቃዎችን ለማግኘት ምቹ ሁኔታን ይፈጥራል ስድስት ሪዳክሽን ኦፍ ካልቸራል ባሪየርስ ኢንክሪዝ ዘ ግሎባል ኢፌክት ይሆናል ማለት ነው ስለዚህ እነዚህ ስድስት ነገሮች የግሎባላይዜሽን ወይንም የዓለም አቀፋዊነት ወይንም የሉላዊነት አድቫንቴጆች ይሆናሉ ስለዚህ ወደ መልስ እንሄድ መልሳችን ኢት ኢንክሪዝ ዘ ፍሎ ኦፍ ኤሬሚታንስ ይሚለው ይሆናል ማለት ነው እዚህኛው ላይ ኢንክሪዚንግ ዘ ፍሎ ኦፍ ኤሬሚታንስ ፍሎ ወይም ሶስተኛው ላይ ነው ሶ ዲ ኢት ኢንክሪዝ ዘ ፍሎ ኦፍ ኤሬሚታንስ ኢዝ ዘ አድቫንቴጅ ኦፍ ግሎባላይዜሽን ግሎባላይዜሽን አምስተኛው ጥያቄ which one of the following is correct about the scope of geography a it is merely focused on the distribution of physical future b it emphasizes the physical arrangement of the universe c it is delimited to the exosphere of the earth d it is limited to describe the capital cities of countries መርሶቻችሁ እየሰራችሁ ወደ መልስ እንገባ መልሳችን የሚሆነው ቢ ኢት ኢንፈሳይዝ ዘ ፊዚካል ኤሬንጅመንት ኦፍ ዘ ዩኒቨርስ ይሚለው ይሆናል ማለት ነው ወደ ስድስተኛው ጥያቄ سنገባ why has the quantitative revolution been introduced to the subject matter of geography a to enable geography to become a law making science b it uses the language of literature instead of mathematical languages c to change the empirical nature of geography to a descriptive one d to explain and interpret special phenomena in a subjective matter why has the quantitative revolution been introduced to the subject matter of geography መልሶቻችሁ እየሰራችሁ መልሶቻችሁ እየሰራችሁ ወደ መልስ እንገባ እንግዲህ ኳንቲቴቲቭ ሪቮሉሽን ምን ማለት ነው ኳንቲቴቲቭ ሪቮሉሽን ማለት አንድ የጂኦግራፊ ኢንፑት ወይንም አንድ የ አፕሮች ወይንም ይሄ ስኩል ኦፍ ቶት ነው የጂኦግራፊ አንድ ስኩል ኦፍ ቶት ነው ሶ ኢት ኢዝ ኤ ማርከድ ዘ ቢጊኒንግ ኦፍ ኤ ኒው ኤራ ኢን ጂኦግራፊ ዌር ኢን ኪሪ ሜተድ ቢገን ቱ ኢምፕሎይ ስታቲስቲካል ቴክኒክስ እንግዲህ ጂኦግራፊ ውስጥ ቁጥሮችን አስገብተን ምን እንጠቀምበት ሂደት ማለት ነው ይሄ ካርታ ስንሰራ ወይ በተለያዩ ማፕዎች ስንሰራ ምን እንጠቀማቸው ኑሜሪካል ቫልዩዎች ወይ በተለያዩ ፎርሙላዎችን ቤዝ ያደረገ ነው ኳንቲቴቲቭ ቁጥራዊ የሆኑ መረጃዎችን ምናሳይበት ማለት ነው it is used rigorous mathematical formula borrowing from physical science እንግዲህ ከናቹራል ሳይንስ የተወሰዱ የተለያዩ ፎርሙላዎች የሂሳብ ፎርሙላዎችን ያያዘ ነው ማለት ነው it was derived driven by the development of the computer and its ability to rapid process of data በተለይ ይሄ GIS በተመለከተ ወይ ይሄ ኮምፒውተር ዩዚችን በተመለከተ ማለት ነው ይሄ እነዚህ ኳንቲቲቭ ሪቮሉሽን ዲስክሪፕቲቭ ኢንፈረንሻል ስታቲክስ ብለን እንጠራቸው ግራቪቲ ሞዴል እና ዲተርሚኒስቲክ ሞዴል ብለን እንጠራቸው ናቸው ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ወደ መልስ እንሄድ to enable geography to become a law making science ይሄን ነው ማለት ነው law making ስንል ይሄ ፎርሙላዎችን አፕላይ ምናረግበት ማለት ነው ወደ ሰባተኛው ጥያቄ سنገባ how does geography tend to bridge natural and social science a by investigating how different field of study are interrelated uh, 
b by sharing methods and contents with different field of studies c by offering different mathematical equation to natural science d by borrowing special model from natural and social science how does geography tend to bridge natural and social science so Bridge educational tube channel on like subscribe and you share by madrag the gaffa chun and get to link back to the number that the number that you call with a mass in the gaba by sharing methods in content as we is different field of studies you know I'm not know something out of yaki if you observe a point where a strong river cuts into the course of a weaker river in your locality, which of the following future, which of the future listed below represents the observed case? If you observe a point where a strong river cuts into the course of a weaker river in your locality, which of the futures listed below represents the observed case? A. Reverse drainage B. Wind gap C. Misfit stream D. Elbow of capture Bridge educational tube what am i saying about characteristic of river capture and the river capture signal are at one on the characteristic of child to make a matter of elbow of capture will attain a misfit so staying a reverse discharge are adding a wind gap and a mentor actual matter to know a lot of captures in a point where one strong river cuts into the course of another weak river is called a lot of capture. Misfit is very too small water in the river. Rivers discharge opposite flow to the original direction. Wind gap area have no rivers. So what I'm saying is such an important one. A lot of capture. A lot of capture is a point where a strong river cuts into the course of a weaker river is called elbow of capture which number nine which of the following is the southern limit of the western lowlands a omogibi lowlands b takazi angrab lowlands c baro akobo lowlands d abide in the lowlands which of the following is the southern limit of the western lowlands a omu gibi lowlands b takazian grab lowlands c a baro kobo lowlands d a bidender lowlands so chachu is a rachu what am i saying about this one and not here it will be a drainage system source part which you know tell me that no and this was careful which one and mediterranean drainage system rift valley drainage system and the indian ocean drainage system and the mental ratio mahala logica in london on the data guy it will be a lie so spina drainage system which are looking at his channel doctor metas again when you are by one's man we take as the ones yalla but a cup of it take as a river تكزي أنجر بلولاند تبلو يتقرر هي ودا تقرأي النامه را دمبر لاي مالتنو ولا تنجو زيك هولا قطر أباي ديندر لولاند نو أباي ونز تقتلو يالا زيك تنجو سفرا أباي ديندر لولاند سوس تنجو بارو عقوبو هي بارو عقوبو زيك تنجو سفرا لاي من ناقين ودمو بارو عقوبو لولاند تبلو يتقرر أراد تنجو أمو جيبي ريفر وين أمو جيبي لولاند بلن من تراو نو مالتنو so let's end up the guy by it you be a was western it will be a western part like a rat i net the cutting as a flower chalum a little take as young grab lowland the northern a by dinder lowland the central baro a cobo the central and the omo gibi lowland is the southern limit you know so the answer is omo gibi lowland is 
the southern limit of the western lowland ይሆናል ማለት ነው ስለዚህ western lowland 3 አራት lowlandዎች ኑሩታል ተከዚያን ግራብ አባይ ዴንደር ባሮኮቦ ኦሞ ጊቤ ይሆናል the southern limit is the northeast one the northeast ተከዚያን ግራብ the south is ኦሞ ጊቤ ይሆናል ማለት ነው ስለዚህ መልሳችን a ይሆናል question number 10 which one describes the general characteristics of ethiopian rivers a they are perennial with steady volume of water b they serve as domestic and international boundaries c they are very suitable for water transportation d most rivers originate from lowland areas balsochachu yesarachu which one describes the general characteristics of ethiopian rivers a they are perennial with steady volume of water b they serve as domestic and international boundaries c they are very suitable for water transportation d most rivers originate from lowland areas alsochachu iyesarachu yetemert bequam yetezegach migerblachu ka bridge education no bridge educational tube channel like subscribe and don't share matter kachu na tsenku wede marsin ngeba ngidi etiopia wonzoch etelaye weim amist characteristics inorot inortal etiopia etiopian highlands are the origin of many rivers etiopia kaftenya sifrawoch yebzu wonzoch mefleqya no etiopia is water tower of north eastern africa tabla tetralech ngidi africa west yemejemeryaw congo no the water tower of africa ሁለተኛ ደግሞ ኢትዮጵያ ኖርዝ ኢስተን ፓርት ኦፍ ኢትዮጵያ እንግዲህ ኢትዮጵያ ወንዞች አምስት ካራክተሪስቲክስ ኖሮታል የመጀመሪያው ስቲፕ ፕሮፋይል ወንዞች ምን ነው ከከፍተኛ ተራራማ ከሆኑ ስፍራዎች ነው ሁለተኛ ራፒድ ሲንድ ዋተር ፎርስ አላቸው በጣም ፈጣን ነው በከፍተኛ ፍጥነት የሚጓዙ ወንዞች አሉ ሶስተኛ ሲዘናል ፍላክቹዌሽን ክረምትና በጋ የውሃ መጠን የተለዋዋጭ ይሆናል አራት ረንስሩ ስቲፕ ሳይደድ ሪቨር ቫሊ እንግዲህ ኮንዞች ሸለቆ አካባቢ ወይ በጣም ሸለቆ አማቦሁን ወንዞች ይፈሳሉ አምስት ሰርቫ አስ የባውንደሪ እንደ ባውንደሪ ሆኖም ያገለግላሉ ማለት ነው ስለዚህ እነዚህ የዚህ ጥያቄ መልስ ቢ ዘይ ሰርቫ አስ ዶሞስቲክ ኤንድ ኢንተርናሽናል ባውንደሪ የሚለው ይሆናል ኳሽን ነምበር 11 ዋት ካራክተራይዝስ ዘ ኢንላንድ ድሬኔጅ ሲስተም ኦፍ ኢትዮጵያ a it is it, it rivers it is rivers join the red sea during the summer season b it is the largest in terms of the discharge of water c it drains most part of the way northwestern ethiopia d it includes the river basin of omo gibe what characterizes the inland drainage system of ethiopia basochachu iyesarachu what characterizes the inland drainage system of ethiopia wede malsis nihid inland drainage system we rift valley drainage system bela namen taraw it is the smallest drainage system in terms of catchment area volume of water and discharge of water kem yemizut bota betam tenishno catchment area volume of water yo ha matnacho betam zikketenya no ndi discharge yo onzochu fesset wemi hiye volume discharge mi yaregu yo ha mi fesso ha matan betam anestenya no it include awash omo gibe river awash na omo gibe river yezi andu megelechawoch nacho malatno awash river is the most utilized river in the rift valley basimt sheroko ust bekeftenya honeta yeminitakkema wonz awash wonz yihonal it is rises from the shawan plateau near ginch town ngidi ka shawa plateau wim ka shawa kafetenya safrawoch wim ka shawa amba midroch yiminnessa no betelem ka ginch katama akkabab yiminnessa yewonz aynet no awash it terminates the salt lake to of abai on the border of djibouti ngidi yemecherasha mabqiyaw eh lake abbe yemibal be etiopia na be ጅቡቲ መካከል የሚገኝ ድንበር ላይ ሰምጦ ይቀራል ማለት ነው። ኦሞ ጊቤ ኢዝ ሳውዝ ዌስተርን ኢትዮጵያ ፊልድ ዊዝ ዋተር ኤንድ ሴድመንትስ እንግዲህ ሳውዝ ዌስተርን ኢትዮጵያ በውሃና በሴድመንት ወይ በ በአሻዋ የሚሞላ ነው ማለት ነው። ስለዚህ ኢንላንድ ሪኒ ሲስተም ይሄን ይገልጻል ማለት ነው። በቀላሉ በዲያግራም ለማየት በዲያግራም ስናየው እንግዲህ ጂንዋ አንድ ቁጥር ተከዚ ወንዘ ያሳያል ሁለት ቁጥር አባይ ሶስት ቁጥር ባሮ አኮቦ አራት ቁጥር ኦሞ ጊቤ አምስት ቁጥር 
አዋሽ ወንዝ 6 ቁጥር ዋቢ ሸበሌ 7 ቁጥር ገና ላይ ይሆናል ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ከነዚህ ወንዞች ውስጥ አራት ቁጥር በተለይ ማያራ ቁጥር ያለው ኦሞጊቤ ወንዝ ነው ይሄ ኦሞጊቤ ወደ ተፈሰል ማለት ወደ ስምጥ ሸለቆ የሚፈስ ነው ማለት ነው ይሄ ኦሞጊቤ ወደ ኢትዮ ኢትዮ በኢትዮጵያና በኬንያ መካከለ የሚገኝ ድንበር ላይ አንዲት ሀይቅ አለች እቺ ሀይቅ ኤሌክትሮካና ተባላለች እቺ ገታች ያለች ማለት ነው እቺ ኤሌክትሮካና ላይ ሰምጦ የሚቀር ነው ማለት ነው በተለይ ይሄ ኤሌክትሮካና ብለን የጠራ ነው ቦታ እቲኛው ኤሪያ ነው እቺ ቦታ ማለት ነው እቺ ኤሌክትሮካና ነች እቺ ደግሞ ሌክ አቤ ትባላለች ማለት ነው so this one is እቺኛው ቦታ ሌክ አቤ ስትባል እቺኛው ቦታ ደግሞ ኤሌክትሮካና ተብላ ትጠራለች ስለዚህ እንዳጠቀ ላይ እነዚህ ወንዞች እነዚህ ሁለት ቦታዎች ላይ ሰምጠው ይገብተው ይቀራሉ ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ወደ መልሳችን ስንሄ ወደ መልሳችን ስንሄድ what what characterizes the inland drainage system of ethiopia it includes the river basin of omo and gibe river in izal malatno wada katta itiyaki sinngeba which one of the following explains the temporal variation of rainfall in ethiopia a there is a little seasonal variation in the amount of rainfall in ethiopia B the lowlands of Afar typically receive rain in summer C spring is the rainy season in most part of Ethiopia D in autumn many places in Ethiopia receive the highest rainfall Which one of the following explains the temporal variation of rainfall in Ethiopia መልሶቻችሁ እየሰራችሁ ብሬጅ ኤጁኬሽናል ቲዮፒ ቻናሉን ላይክ ሰብስክራይብ እንዲሁም ሼር ማድረጋችሁን አጥዘንጉ ወደ መልስ እንገባ ቴምፖራል ቬሪዬሽን ኦፍ ሬን ፎር ኢን ኢትዮጵያ እንግዲህ ቴምፖራል ስንል ቴምፖራሊ ወይም ጊዜያዊ የሆነ ማለት ነው ከጊዜ ወደ ጊዜ የሬንፎል ቬሪዬሽን የሚዘራ መጥኑ ተለዋዋጭ ነው ሲዘናል ቬሪዬሽን ኢንፍሉዌንስ ዘ ኢንተንሲቲ ኤንድ ማግኒቲዩድ ኦፍ ሬንፎል እንግዲህ ሲዘናል ቬሪዬሽንስ እንደ አራቱ ወቅቶች መካከል ያለው ማለት ነው ዊንተር ሰመር ኦተማን ኤንድ ስፕሪንግ በእነዚህ አራቱ ወቅቶች ያለው ዘና መጥን ተለዋዋጭ ነው ክረምት ሰመር ኤንድ በልግ በልግ ሰፕላይስ ሞር ዘን ሞር ኦፍ ሞር ኦፍ ዘን 90% ኦፍ ሬንፎል ኢን ኢትዮጵያ ስለዚህ 90% የሚሆነ የኢትዮጵያ ክፍል ዘና በሚያገኘው ክረምትና በልግ ላይ ነው ማለት ነው ስፕሪንግ መጹ ኤንድ ዊንተር በጋሬንስ ዱሬሽን ኤሪያል ኮቨሬጅ ኢን ቮሉም ኢዝ ቬሪ ሌስ ኦር ቬሪ ሊትል እንግዲህ ዊንተር ላይና ስፕሪንግ ላይ መጹ ላይ ያለው ዘና መጥን በጣም ዝቅተኛ ነው ማለት ነው it is confined to a far lowland red sea coastal area eastern escarpment of eritrean highlands እነዚ ቦታዎች ዘና በሚያገኙት በስፕሪንግ እና በዊንተር ይሆናል ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ከተሰጠን ምርጫ ውስጥ ትክክለኛ መልሳችን የሚሆነው d in autumn many places in ethiopia receive the highest rainfall ይሆናል ማለት ነው ካሉን አማራጮች ውስጥ ማለት ነው 13ኛው ጥያቄ Which one is correct about the Ethiopian woodland savanna vegetation? A it grows mainly along the river banks. B it is found both in the highlands and lowlands. C it is very similar to European alpine vegetation. D it is known for dense acacia trees. መልሶቻችሁ እየሰራችሁ which one is correct about the ethiopian woodland savanna vegetation ወደ መልስ እንገባ እንግዲህ እንዳጠቀ ላይ wood savanna vegetation ስንል characteristics-ዎቹን መናቸው wood savanna they are found in the highlands and lowlands they are confined between 250 meter to 2300 meter 
This vegetation is located between desert up to Wainadaga climate. They have 200 up to 1,400 millimeter rainfall. They are grown in the lake region. Example, Akija, Sycamore, and Kosho tree is an example of woodland savanna. So the answer is it is found both in the highlands and lowlands. It's called woodland savanna. Question number 14. If you were asked by a tourist who wanted to see Chilada Baboon in Ethiopia, which national park would, would be your recommendation? If you were asked by a tourist who wanted to see Chilada Baboon in Ethiopia, which national park would be your recommendation? A. The Samin Highlands B. The Bali Mountains C. The Awash Parks D. The Nechsar Parks If you were asked by a tourist who wanted to see Chilada Baboon in Ethiopia, which national park would be your recommendation? Mountains, Minelik Bushback or Dukula, Shawan and Bali Highlands, Four Swiney, Heart Beast or Orki, Nechisar Park and Sankali Sanctuary, Samin Fox or Kaik Abaro, Bali and Samin Highlands, Wild As Wim Yedur Ahia, Afar and Southeastern Lowlands. So, Jalada Babon is found in Samin Highlands. The Samin Highlands is Related with Chilada Babon. Question number 15. If you are asked to propose a strategy for conservation wildlife where hunting is strictly forbidden, what would be your suggestion as conservation area? A. Game reservers, B. Zoological garden, C. National parks, D. Sanctuaries. If you are asked to propose a strategy for conservation wildlife where hunting is strictly forbidden, what would be your suggestion as conservation area? A. Game reservers, B. Zoological garden, C. National parks, D. Sanctuaries. Malso chachu, yeserrachu. Wadamals Sengaba Gidish Conservation Major Wim Area Oshpilam Drachu and Dingo National Park No, Latino Game Reserve Arenos, Hostenio, Sanctuary Suenal. National Parks Legal Hunting is allowed with some restriction, but also no Gadabuch Aden in Michal Bach, Aden Madden in Michal Bach, but also National Park Ochuanalu. Misale Omu, Mago, Chabara, Churchura. Nechisar, Nazih Park was making it. The Bubi Topia Kfluenims Hauser, Nation Nationality People's Region Lino, Bale Mountain, Abayata, Shala Lake, and Awash, Oromia Lake Genyalu, Samir Mountain, the smallest, and Alatish, Alatash, Alatash, Amhara Region Mikino, Gambela is the largest national park. Gedi, Topia Skal Park was Tinishu, Samir Mountain, Sihon, Tiluku, Gambela, Ihon, and Maratno. Latino game reserve arena. Licensed hunting is allowed only for tourists. The tourists which fact add out at all. Add an image Kaidu Pach Botauch game reserve is Balalu. The Messale Borana, Arsibale, Western Shaw, Churcher Arba Kuku, and the Romia Lami Genu Maratno, Mursi, Mizan Tafari, Western Omo Gedio, Boye. Second Valley, Nazibot House to Mudubu to Pack for the Mikinu, Game Reservary Nacho, Amahara Regila, Minim, Ainat, Game Reservary Yelena Malatno. So Stingo Sanctuary Sino, 
Sanctuaries hunting is strictly forbidden or prohibited. Aden bafts my chal bachu madena my chal bachu botauch nacho madano. Nenazi babili in nayabelo, san kelly honalo. Babili nayabelo nigin to Romeo Austano, san kelly debu it piakfil like genial madano. Midi, a game reserve virtues till look, borona is your horn. Tin shudokum boyi yonal madano. What a malsin gabamalsachin di sanctuaris yonal madato. Sanctuaris. Is related with areas where hunting is strictly for forbidden or prohibited. Question number sixteen: Which measure of soil conservation should be widely used against soil erosion in arid and semi-arid areas of the whole? A. Check dams. B. Shelter belts. C. Terracing. D. Intercropping. Which measures of soil conservation should be widely used, widely used against soil erosion in arid, in arid and semi semi arid areas of the whole? A check dams, B shelter belt, C terracing, D intercropping. But so chachu, yes, rachu. ودمالس نقبا تريسينج مالات من مالات نميلون اني تريسينج is a process of constructing stair-like structure along hillsides تراران تكترو يميسرو ركنوش مالات نو it reduces the soil erosion by reducing the speed of water انجد يوحان متن بما قدب يعفر مششرن يميك انسنو مالاتو انجد بزي حينت منجد بوتاو چون يمن نار سبتي دات مالاتنو تريس يسران وين بي يمحالو قرقوال عينت نگر يسران سپيس ويم كفتت ستن يمن نار سبتي دات تريس هنگ تبلو يترال ولد تنجاو wind break and shelter belt there is a linear planting of tree and shrubs designed to enhance soil fertility, protect people and livestock, and to conserve soil. So, when we talk about the natural environment, we are talking about the environment. We are talking about the environment. It is common in arid and semi-arid. But I am very happy to know that we are very happy to know that we are talking about the environment. So, for example, we are talking about the wind. Wind break reduces wind speed. This wind speed related, uh, leads to enhance crop growing yield and increase organic matter, support soil biology, improve soil structure, increase water holding capacity, and reduce wind erosion of the soil year round. So, interclopping. intercropping. Intercropping is multi cropping practices concerned with growing two or more crops simultaneously on the same piece of land. But Antamasasai Ershalai, who let Nakazabalai, Azer to Chen, Yemen the Rapati Detno. I'm Sally, he witten a mustard and the end example mosad, and Nichilan he intercropping tablo, Yemit Raya Astrara Zedino Madatno. Ratting or check dams, no, it is the smallest dam construction across the drainage, the drainage ditch, swell or channel to lower the velocity of flow, reduce runoff velocity, reduce erosion and gully in the channel, and allow sediment to settle out. Check dam me be built from stone sand bag filled with pea grave gravel or logs and gadi wuhan yaman na qurbat hidat malat no bekeftinga fnet mihedo ni yoha matan bemak en lemak ennes ye men gedebo aynet inde gedeb aynet neger no malat no mels wede mel sakin sin mihed shelter belt is related with arid and semi arid area yihonal next question how do we describe rural and urban settlements? A. Rural settlements have defined shape. B. Rural areas are known by dense population. C. Urban settlements have planned stretches. D. Urban areas have a low division of labor. How do we describe rural and urban settlements? A. 
Runar settlements have defined shapes. B. Runar areas are known by dense population. C. Urban settlements have planned streets. D. Urban areas have a low division of labor. Melso chachu yisarachu. Wadamals skam hida jim bafit. Urban and narular settlement difference hacho sennay. Urban settlement is economic activities what? Nen agriculture. Economic activities in agriculture. Rural area economic activities, agriculture. Socioeconomic development is very high in urban area. Socioeconomic development is very low in rural area. Services are limited in urban area. Rural area services limited. Road is highly interconnected or planned. Planned road networks in urban area. Road is poorly interconnected. They are unplanned. Population is dense in urban area and high labor division. And in the rural area, low division of labor. The key to modernization and population size, population is sparse in rural area. So the answer for this question is C, urban settlement have planned streets, which means highly interconnected road network. Question number 18. Why was hilltops mainly preferred for the establishment of old urban centers of Ethiopia? This was due to their A. Water resources B. Defensive locations C. Fertile alluvial soil D. Natural beauty Why was hilltops mainly preferred for the establishment of old urban center of Ethiopia? This was due to their Yes, A water resource, B defensive location, C fertile alluvial soil, D natural beauty. Why was hilltops mainly preferred for the establishment of old urban centers of Ethiopia? This is this was due to their Wadamelsenigaba. Gidish defensive site will an A defensive site is a place where that is difficult to attack by the enemies. A better than Yasran and Yakfili draw old geography. Must have to page Samani as Casamani and the Alubatana more clarify our glacial. In the ninth century in Ethiopia, when defensive strategies that was executed at the right moment could save the whole community. However, in modern warfare, with a real attacks to the community could not be saved. Some settlements were chosen due to their physical protection for a given tribal group against another tribal enemies. Gdi years pers ego ego sa git chito chen bak allaru na maskarat si balu in protect na maskar si balu he physically hoon protection o chen sa wuchi merto na ber. Some towns in Ethiopia, but nim and in Ethiopia katamuch hill to apply, we nim hill side apply, ye corrupta. So hillsides for defense and patrolling purposes. Hillside is a very important thing. Patrolling, transportation, and defense. But example, Chancha, a gamugofa, cababina, he asella, nezibotaush lamaratu. Village on the Bonsi Plateau were established in isolated spot at the base of rock ridges and covered by dense forest. Government policy in the hidden area of modern Africa have established nucleated defensive settlement. Defensive Yona. When he nucleated the Hona, settlement developed Yaragano Malatno. Slezi, Nazi Hilltop, which in Manmert, but and looking at defensive location, Masratia de Ragano Malatno. Question number 19 What is the size of Africa compared to the size of other continents? A. It is the largest continent next to Asian continent. B. It constitutes half of the total land surface of the earth. C. It 
it nearly double the total size of North America. D, it is four times larger than the size of Antarctica. What is the size of Africa compared to the size of other continents? What is the size of the continent? We mean here African continent coast the size of African continent in West. Africa is the second largest continent next to Asia. Africa is the largest Africa is the largest continent the Africa area size. Africa area size is million kilometers squared. million kilometers squared. Nearly what a salasa million with salasa and a million kilometers square what I shall final. Africa covers Gidia Africa cut a calayam rate cafalust. Sedis person to total surface area yona malatno. A clala yamaritan. Sedis person total surface area yona malatno. What a melts in here? Melsach in Mihono. A it has the largest continent next to Asian. Continent Yonal Malatno. How do the relative compact shape and unbroken coastline of Africa impact its development? A. It is compact shape discourage intracontinental movement. B. It is unbroken coastline makes the continent rich in natural herbore. C. It this unbroken coastline encourage external communication. D. It is compact shape relatively aids administration and defense. Melso chachu iyasarachu. Wada mal sis ngabang di chin betalemi Africa half compact Africa compact you know wada circle tata ga shape ya latnech Africa has a compacted continent. The unbroken coastline of Africa makes the continent poor in natural harbor. Intercontinental migration is a movement of people within the same continent. So let's see what I'm searching for. I'm searching Dino. It is compact shape, relatively aids administration and defense. Similar, you know, I'm not sure. Is that it? Yeah, in the middle, it's like this. Then, busy man, it's like a jungle. But let me hear. You might ask about it. Yeah, the relative compact shape of Africa allows for easier administration and defense of the continent. It enables government to establish efficient infrastructure, communication network, governance system across the region. The shorter distance between different regions makes it easier for governments to provide service, implement policies, and maintain securities. Additionally, the compact shape allows for rapid deployment of military or security for force in case of emergency or conflicts ngidi ye macharshaw tiyaqe melsachin dino bilenal malatno bezi mekniyat yezareu yemels yitiyaqe na mels kefle gizyachin yihin yimesil nebere sile taktatalachuun betam adergi amesegnallo bridge educational tube thank you Education unlocks the door of wisdom. But Mr. Sham, yet I can watch my take on and take that to listen. Back brought in a better than that. I can look bridge educational tube. 